attentive, didn't I? You know, every single time I start a video, I tell you what I'm gonna be doing in the video, but you probably already know that because you clicked on that awesome thumbnail. So, you know who I am. I'm Audra, I'm from the Kurtz Corner, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a sequined spiderweb pumpkin. I just told you again. I don't know why, I think it's a habit. So I am gonna go ahead and get started and show you how to make that pumpkin, and here are my Halloween nails. That's kind of random, but yeah, those are my Halloween nails. I don't know if you can really see it because it's focusing on my face. Aren't they cute? There, yeah. Orange, yeah. Anyways, I digress. Let's get to the craft. For this project, you will need one craft styrofoam pumpkin, black sequins in large and medium size, gold push pins, spiders, and a hot glue gun. Okay, to get started, I'm going to open my large sequins and I'm gonna start arranging them in a spider web formation. So basically, that is just an X on your pumpkin. So I'm gonna go ahead and open my gold push pens and start placing them in an X formation. And just a little tip, this does start to hurt your fingers after a while, so if you have a thimble that you can use or maybe like a folded up piece of cardboard or paper that helps um, when you're pushing it in so that your thumb doesn't end up killing you. So go ahead and continue creating your um, spiderweb lines. This is the initial line and it's just gonna be an X shape and that will be the start of our spiderweb. So I'm not placing these too close because later I will come back and put in more sequins to create a full thick line. I'm just spacing them out so that there's a little gap between each sequin and that way I can come back and make it look more uniform on all sides of the pumpkin. I have my first X shape and now I'm gonna move on to the next step. For the second step of this project, I am going to open the medium sized black sequins and I'm gonna do another X um, going in between the larger sequins. So this is gonna create the second part of my spider web. So just do the same thing that you did for the first X, just space them out evenly with little gaps in between and make an X so that's gonna be four different lines running between each of the larger sequins. Okay, now that I have both of my X's done in the large and medium sequins, I'm going to be placing the medium sequins in between each of the X's and this is going to create basically a half circle shape and that is going to be creating the inner parts of the web. So I'm going to do three layers of that, just like I did with the X's, spacing them out evenly and when I finish that, I'm going to go back and make my web thicker. So here you can see that I've done two layers of the inner half circles on the spider web, so I'm gonna do one more. But here I'm gonna show you that I have made a thicker line. So all I did was I went in and I added additional sequins according to the size in the gaps that you see in between each of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I already did my basic outline and now I'm gonna go back and go in between to make them thicker so I can make everything look super straight and make it thick so that it really stands out. And here we have our finished pumpkin. So you can see I did three layers for the web and I went back and I made everything super bold and thick so that the web really stands out and you can tell that it's a spider web. So now I'm just gonna take the spiders that I have and put a little bit of hot glue on them and then find a space on my spider web where I'd like to put them and just put them there. And you can put as many or as little as you want or you don't even have to use a spider at all. So that is all you have to do. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and as always, subscribe to my channel so that you can check out my latest DIY crafts and recipes. I will see you next time. Bye.